Hello, everybody. Hello. Are you rolling? Welcome back to Calgary Barbell once more. Bryce here with uh, Bronson's Asleep once more. And uh, we're just doing our little wrap up for the raw portion of the week. So this week actually the raw portion of the week went a little bit better than my equipped portion. My squats didn't really bug my hip too much. Uh, I wasn't able to use a whole lot of weight, but I was able to get a little bit of volume in before things started feeling really janky. Uh, I did my bench yesterday as well. I worked up to what was supposed to be 175. Back, 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 back. Oh! Fuck. Oh. I don't know what happened there. For some reason missed that. Um, not sure what happened there. A little bit of a technicality. I kind of threw it out and set it back over my shoulders. And that caused me to miss the rep. I came down to 172. I have your and it was a smoke show, so clearly just a, a technical thing or something I did wrong on that rep specifically. Today I came in, did some deadlifts, worked up to 317 and a half, I think. And did some two board against chains. Things are starting to come back. I'm feeling a little bit better. Starting to get a little bit more sleep and food and etc. cetera. Um, as little man here becomes more and more independent, um, so can I become more and more independent and not have to be on piss patrol all the time. We got a question, and this will be the question of the day and also sort of the talking topic of the video, about how I handled my weight gain throughout my lifting career. So when I first started lifting in 2012, Competitively, anyways, when I first started competing in 2012, I should say, I was 83 kilos, and I cut five or six pounds for my first meet to get down to 183, and uh, that was fine. I didn't lose any strength or anything, but I soon realized I was way too tall to be in that weight class. So from there, I moved up to the 93s, and I don't think I filled out the 93s for a couple of meets. I was 89 and 90, and then at one point, I cut for a GPC meet actually, the one GPC meet I ever did uh, with mono and, and wraps and stuff. I cut from I think 213 down to 198 for that meet and lost a whole lot of strength and had a piss poor performance and was not super stoked on it. So after that I sort of told myself like that would be the end of me cutting at least for a while. My next meet was Alberta Provincials in 20. Uh, 2014, I want to say, and I came in at 98 or 99 kilos in the 105 class. I just sort of came in where I was, where I'd been walking around and felt good, and that was the first meet where I actually had like some some stiff competition and where I actually where I won. So that was a good sign for me. And from then, I've been competing in the 105 class. Uh, I don't really get much above 105. It's always been pretty hard for me to gain weight and I haven't actively pushed that hard uh, to get up much more. I was thinking about that but then ended up doing equipped lifting and with the variation in how things fit when you get bigger or smaller in equipment, I didn't really want to mess with that too much. So I've been maintaining between probably 103 and 108. As we get closer to a meet, uh, my nutrition coach and I will dial in a plan and uh, I'll probably start following that a lot more closely. but. For me, sometimes you kind of just need to be fat and happy. You kind of just need to like eat what you want to eat, make sure you get enough protein so you can recover, and just not track your macros. Because if you track your macros, for me anyways, you track your macros every day, all day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the month, you're just, you're just gonna go insane. You know, I like, I take a lot of, take a lot of pleasure out of food and drink. The other question that was sort of part and parcel with this one was do I feel healthy at my weight class? I do actually, I feel really good weighing what I weigh. I do get winded pretty easy sometimes if there's too many stairs involved in anything. 
but uh, you know, I'm still able to go out and hike. It, it's tough for me, it's much tougher at this weight than it has been at other weights for me to go out and do things like that. But I push myself to not just give up on that. So I'd like to continue to continue to build some capacity to be able to do that kind of stuff. And I think that contributes to my my sort of feelings of well-being at this body weight too. That's it from us here at Calgary Barbell. Bronson's gonna have to pee right away. So like, subscribe, and comment, and you'll see more of us soon. Thank you.